Hi, Sel. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And thanks for um, being here in Venice. We are at the Room Contemporary Space, our gallery in San Marco Square, as you know. And we are opening today Contemporary Venice Exhibition 2021. We present a selection of your works based on uh, some new concepts that you will explain now. And uh, I know that you are an um, abstract uh, artist uh, yes. using mixed media. And uh, yes, first of all, introduce yourself. Where are you from? Where do you live? Where do you have your office, uh, your studio? And after we will talk about your works. Okay, well, um, I'm Cel, I'm a French Moroccan artist. Um, and. Um, I paint since the age of six, seven, but uh, I started to do more exhibition and more art, public for public art, uh, like two or three years ago. Okay. Uh, I paint mainly in Paris and in Argentina. I'm half time based in Argentina and half time in Paris. Uh, I found a lot of inspiration downtown the mountain. <laughs> wow. Um, and well, the, the intention beyond all my painting is inspired by unifying contrasts. So this is what I try with different techniques, unifying shapes, colors, emotions. So this is it. What about the works you are presenting today? The name of the um, um, artworks? We have two paintings and three sculpture installations. So um, the name of the paintings? Yes, uh, well, I start with the mask. With as, the mask. We are, okay. as we are in Venice, I yeah. wasn't thinking about, okay. about exposing them for the first time here in Venice, but it's, uh, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is both here. Uh, well, the mask is a series called Persona. Uh, persona uh, in, in Latin is like the, the mask. So, and it's also referred to the personality, so it, it was interesting to relate to uh, these things. It's also a, a way to show how uh, we express different emotions, different um, diverse uh, way of, of being, and it's a little bit a reminder of how uh, a full face can be interesting and express a lot. We almost forgot all about it with the pandemic. <laughs> Um, and these two masks uh, are named Sabi and Wawi, refer to an uh, aesthetic uh, philosoph uh, Japanese philosophy. It's like the seeing the beauty in imperfection. So I like um, uh, doing things with this concept. Why the, the um, this the, one is completely white? And the wild. white one yeah. is like the source, the origin of all other ones. I have uh, um, wider collection of masks and this one was the first one and I just put it here like to the viewer. The starting. The starting and the, the viewer to see that there is something in uh, beyond all the masks there is something in like more basic. More I see a lot of um, uh, inspiration in, inside this uh, installation uh -huh. because um, I, I know, I don't know, you created a circle with um, two axes. Yes. It's like in, uh, in math, you know? Uh, there are a, yes, there are a lot of meanings if a point moves inside uh, <laughs> the two axes, it <laughs> changes its properties. Exactly, yeah. So, and w what I see, I don't know if you did uh, with this reason or uh, without, but what I see is that uh, moving the mask inside this um, Circle. Um, geometry, uh -huh, it sure. changes its identity. Well. It changes its shape, it changes its color, and when it comes in the center, that is the zero point, you know, yeah, the central yeah, exactly. of the axis it's is like the zero. It's like initiating. It starts again <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah, it's an interesting view. Probably I did it like half unconsciously. I'm also a mathematician and <laughs> a yoga teacher for sure. There is some influence here okay. uh, of my geometry class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it is interesting that uh, to have but it's them it's in a, a circle, it's a way to yeah. make them like they are moving. And, and it's a communication between... Uh, um, all of them. Yes, yes the, um, the artistic side and the crea creative side of your mind with the, uh, with the mat, as I told you, and the geometrical exactly, yeah. field that you have here. 
Yeah, and we, what about the paintings? Well, the painting also the, um, started with the same intention, unifying contrast, unifying diversity and connecting. Here we can clearly see uh, connecting points yeah. and it's also kind of have a reference to some maths I've seen, uh, algorithms I've seen <laughs> before, like the um, neuronal mm -hmm. um, networks. Um, and here we can see if there is connection, but sometimes the connection is not full and sometimes it is like more dense and it's see how everything is all connected, but in different way. Sometimes it is imperfect and sometimes it is more present. Do you see contrasts in your, uh, I'm thinking about uh, uh -huh. what you were talking before about your um, living six months in yeah. France and six months in South of America. Yes. Yeah, so maybe you represent to a lot of contrast you see from different cultures, from different countries. Sure. There is a contamination maybe in your work. Uh, I, am, I am influenced a lot by my environment and my change in environment as it, you, you can imagine it's not the same uh, in the province of Mendoza in Argentina and in the center of Paris. Yeah. So it is a big change, I can live it, feel it and I uh, sometimes, yeah, I even because I you you talk you talk a lot of the I, I imagine several languages. Yes. <laughs> and so maybe your all the connections I see inside your works are uh, maybe all the points and all the cities and all the languages you have inside. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think I have. I have. It started all because I realized I have a lot of contrast inside, and that started mm -hmm. like a, my artistic process, like that, integrating, unifying these contrasts to something more harmonious. Something like um, I don't like all the perfection. A concept, but more in a complete way. The imperfection is the imperfection a that's unifying. Is everything. human. Yeah, exactly. I think it is the like the source of beauty. It's, exactly. It is that. So I um, I will try to work with that. This uh, painting called Este Momento, like about well, this moment, like to represent how we are really connected to all parts of us and our environment when we are just present in the moment. You can see clearly here the influence of my yoga teaching. Okay. So it's more about yeah, uh, self-awareness and uh, so great. Presence. Thanks for um, talking with us about this um, your production and your um, life and your everyday moving inside the world mm -hmm. and um, thanks for being here in person and um, see you later for the official opening. Thank you.